Hi guys, today I will be doing an adulting slash how to adult when you're not even an adult, like adulting series, I don't know what to call it, but it's gonna be all about growing up, just everything that com comes with like financial literacy, hustle, all your side hustles, live on your own, that type of series. So in this video, I'll be explaining why you should get a card at 18, and even on your 18th birthday like I did, and the benefits of doing that, and also the non-benefits or the issues. All right, so I'm gonna do, talk about my story a little bit. It's not really a story. So basically, I wanted credit for a very long time because I saw myself getting a car, and ideally, now I might be pay, paying that car in full, but in that moment, I couldn't have. So I was like, I need to start getting credit, and I also thought, because I wanted to move out soon, I was supposed to be going to Atlanta, and I was like, I wanna get an apartment there because I don't really like the dorms. Like, it was the whole thing. So I was like, what do I need? I need a credit card, and like, my 18th birthday, I didn't really do anything fun. I can't go to bars at 19 where I live. It's like a university town. They don't want seniors going to bars and stuff. So I was like, what can I do? And I was like, I'll just get a card. So literally, it was like 12 in the morning, and I got a credit card, it's so funny. And so my first card was actually Discover Student Cashback It card. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is just a Discover card. And I got, I designed it because I wanted the one with the buildings because I was supposed to be in the city, but I'm still in the Midwest right now. But it's cute and it has a little chip. And nowadays, I used to be able to swipe this, but now every time I try to swipe it, they're like, use your chip, please. I'm like, I don't like using my chip. So I'm going to give you guys a lot of advice on how to get your first card, what your first card should be, and kind of like why you should get credit. I'm going to talk about why you should get credit first, because that's the most important thing. Um, credit is kind of the building box for a lot of things growing up, especially like I don't was talking about like if you're 18 You're probably not thinking about financing a home. But that's a really big part of it And also just a huge part of your credit score and your credit score is out of 850 a huge part of your credit score is the longevity of it So how long have you had your credit if you get your credit 18 the youngest you could have it by the time you're like 30 or your late 20s when you're financing your first house you have had that credit for years, and so you have a really longevity. You couldn't cancel that first card because the age of credit is important for your credit. I will be doing an entire video dedicated to just how to build your credit and all the important parts of that. We're gonna focus on why you should get a credit card at 18. So the first reason why is because it has creates a more longevity of your credit scores. And then the second reason you wanna get a credit card is because it kinda gives you this responsibility. It just gives you like the responsibility to pay off your card. You learn a lot about interest rates. You learn how to kind of finance and budget your stuff and it gives you a lot of opportunities. So as far as responsibility, you should not get the card. People who shouldn't get the, a credit card at 18 are people that know like to spend and they don't really care about carrying a budget, who spend a lot of money and they don't really look at it or don't budget their money. A credit card could be the best thing for you or the worst thing. It could be the best thing because it would force you to kind of be more aware of your spending. It could be the worst because you might just like blow it and spend so much. But you can get a secured card and that's what a lot of students get. And so basically you put like a 400 deposit down and that's your credit limit. And so in case um, you can't spend it or whatever, like you don't have the money, they will take it out of your account. So you can get a secure, secure credit card, which is like the first tier of credit cards. And a lot of ones have that Capital One Discover. You can also get a student credit card, which is what I have, the Discover student credit card. I had no credit at all. And I got this and I got a thousand dollar limit on it. So that was pretty good. You can get the Capital One one. I don't know if that has any, that has like no interfere, I'm pretty sure. And that one's for people who have like building credit or really bad credit to build it. And there's not really perks to that. So I would not advise that unless you really need that to build your credit. Cause I feel like there's a lot of student cards that give you some type of benefit like the capital one student card a lot of people get that so 1.5% back after you start paying off your stuff for a couple months and that's not a huge benefit but when you're a student saving any type of money is great and also it's good if you're a student and you only get paid like twice a month so it kind of helps you to be able to pay stuff back at your own pace and another big benefit of credit cards is the discount you get on my discover credit card I get 50% cash back I think right now at Under Armour there's a lot of really good deals on the discover like cashback portal and also the one i have for the privileges it's like five percent cash back on different categories this category is restaurants and then at the end of the year they will double that cash back getting a credit card at 18 will increase the longevity of your credit it makes you be more responsible check how much i'm spending all the time on my app i'm always checking it to getting things like a mortgage and an apartment if they want you to have better credit for that or just anything that requires credit getting a credit card when you're young is not 
not as hard as it seems. You know, there's a reason that when you go to college, there's people lined up trying to sell credit cards. But you want to make sure that you know what they're saying, if the benefits are really worth it, or if there are any annual fees for the card. Getting your first card, I don't think you should get one of the annual fees unless it's like a starter card that's like $40, unless you were put on your like parents' credit card or someone else you know as an authorized user and so that built you really good credit. I'm glad my mom didn't do that because she got bad credit. Sorry, mom. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys want more videos about how to be financially savvy and credit and all that stuff, I've been watching so many videos about this, then definitely give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for my videos, and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great time and I hope this gave you some good tips. I'll leave a link below for you to, to refer to this Discover card. I think they have a deal if a referral link, if this, I give you this card, I get 50% cash back and then everyone, then you guys would get 50% cash back on your card too, which is great, especially if you get the, this one, Discover it like, cashback one. Definitely use that link below and I have other links below as well to save money like rebates, Uber codes and all that kind of things. All my affiliates, go look, check in the down bar. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.